Hello everyone and welcome to installing the Apollo Saturn V moon mission in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. This was a request from the comments and since the anniversary of Apollo 11 is coming up I decided to do it and I will also show you how to simulate the mission but first we'll talk about the mod that is necessary and generally you could cobble together a whole bunch of mods to get an optimal look but let's just keep it basic and the basic mod that I would advise people to use is just the Realism Overhaul compatible version of FASA, which is also stock compatible incidentally. It hasn't been updated for a while, but uh, that's with good reason. It's basically stable. There are other versions. Sometimes I've used a version that's sort of uh, been put together by Raider Nick, but that has elements of various mods and I'm not too sure we can redistribute that. So that's a problem. You can put together various mods like uh, maybe uh, Blue Dog Design Bureau or something like that and get the best look that you would like. But if you want the all-in-one solution, the simplest one to get this off the ground as quickly as possible, uh, first start off with FASA. And instead of uh, installing it here because people like CCAN these days, I'll go with the CCAN installation. And that will allow us to do another thing that will speed things up a little bit. So what we want is just FASA in here, and it is the Raidernik version of FASA. It's the same one that we have back there. You can see Raidernik there. 7.27 is the version number. And so we've got that. And also what we will want, because you probably don't want to build the craft files uh, by hand, is that Re uh, Realism Overhaul comes with the craft file. Well, not if you just install Realism Overhaul, it doesn't come with the craft files, unless you got the zip from the GitHub. If you get the zip from the GitHub, that will have the craft files in it. But uh, the craft file for the full Apollo Saturn V is available in this Realism Overhaul craft files install. And so we can check mark that. And then that should give us hopefully what we need. So that's the change set, nothing too fancy. And I'm just gonna click, click apply. Raster prop monitor, okay, I'm okay with that. If you wanted all of Raider Nick's other rockets, they seem to be here as suggestions. Uh, but for now, we'll just continue like this. Okay, so in theory, it's been installed in this special moon version of KSP that I have, which has Arsis Reborn, but the higher textures for the moon, well, only 32K really, and then only 32K for Earth, and then 16K for everything else. So it's a little bit more moon optimized than my shuttle install. So with that, I will start it up and see if the craft file loads the parts appropriately. Okay, so let's see if they are here. So it'll be under stock, quote unquote, but we should have an Aro, FASA, Saturn V, Apollo, Lunar. And that's the one we want. A lot of other craft files to go along with a bunch of other mods, especially Raider Nix mods. So, the thing is that uh, people will note that, uh, well, actually the texture is wrong, isn't it? Hmm, this is the KSP textures. We don't want that. Okay, I thought it would install the, the United States textures instead of the KSP textures. So we need to go and find those, I guess. So I'll put the GitHub version of the FASA mod as well as this in the video description, but this is just the FASA retexture. So this is what you need. You'll have to overwrite the textures in order to get United States on the stuff and make it look right. But it still won't look quite right. And that's why sometimes we mix and match the mods with FASA or uh, you know, just use other parts to make them look a little bit better because the FASA parts uh, don't look quite right in some cases. But I'm not going to go through all that this time. I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, but at least we should have a slightly more authentic thing instead of having KSP and Kerbal States on the side. And so I'll get this and put it in. So uh, we see game data right here and we are going to just copy it over. And we can make sure, of course, it has to replace some files and we can verify that it's doing the right thing. And we can see USA, uh, they, they're actually upside down for whatever reason, but there we have it and continue. 
you actually hear the game still up, and that's because the game is loaded into RAM. It's no longer reading these files, so we can overwrite the files while the game is running. We can't overwrite DLL files while the game is running, though, just the model and texture files. Anyway, let me restart and see if everything's all right now. Okay, here we go again. Stock. And this one. Okay, now it looks right. It has the correct mass. It should be properly configured, but I think it's prudent for me to check that out and make sure everything works properly. So again, the looks might uh, uh, the looks might not be perfect, but functionality and numbers wise, it should be. But I think that uh, deserves some checking out because things have been changed in, in realism overhaul with Kerbal Space Program in this version. For instance, I noticed there's no helium here. And so the craft file might not have been updated because now pressurized tanks need helium. And so I'm going to go through and figure out what the craft file has messed up. And maybe I'll offer you guys an updated craft file based on that because, uh, well, this this still doesn't have helium, it seems like. Let's see. Uh, okay, maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't do the helium thing that most pressurized tanks now do in realism overhaul. So I think I'll just have to fly the mis mission and then check what works and what doesn't. And that's the only way to go about it. So I decided to test it out during a live stream, and the short answer is that the craft file is not good, and I'll show you why, but I'll put a new craft file in the video description, as well as another fix for the mod, and not all the things about the mod are fixed. You'll need to use the craft file in order to make it work. I would have to change a lot more about the mod in order to make it possible for you to pull out the parts and assemble it yourself because right now the craft file has the right fuel quantities and propellant quantities uh, but the parts the actual mod does not because they have changed things about the engines it's complicated i'll show you a little bit of that as a summary uh, but just use the craft file if you want to run it and i did test it out and it did work oh it's under thrust uh-oh Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's RP-1. Oh, but RP-1 is a different thing now. Oh, no. Maybe, okay, because they've made RP-1 a different thing. Okay, so first change. I need, I need a little list of the changes that need to happen to save this thing. Okay. So, remove all tanks. Oh, nope, nope. Remove all tanks and do that. So now it's RP-1 in liquid oxygen. Okay, well fine, I'll take it off. I'll take it off just in case. It doesn't have enough thrust to go up. Oh, it's supposed to though. Maybe we should we should just underfuel this. Maybe it's fueled up to uh, to the levels of the later configuration. Probably two twenty eight hundred and something would be better. Uh, it ain't going up. I can make it go up, so it must be that it's not waiting long enough. Darn it. Okay, fine. It used to wait long enough because this is the Apollo 11 script I used to record the Apollo 11 video, mind you. So they have changed how long it takes for them to spool up. Okay, eight. That's an enormous amount of time for it to hold those down. Oh, I'm late. Go. Uh, the J2 had no ignitions remaining. Why? 
Okay, 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 hold on. Gosh. Three ignitions. That one has three ignitions. The one, this one... Sub-config engine conditioning kit. What do you mean, sub-config engine conditioning kit? Maybe you should make the default configuration the one everybody actually needs and not the one that nobody wants. Does anybody want a one ignition J2? Anybody? This is the final version. Well, it started, it started with Apollo 8, so this is, this is that one. Okay. And we, we didn't have a whole lot of fuel, I felt. Our Delta V was lacking quite a lot. Hmm. Anyway, now let me get the action groups for the script. But it doesn't seem to work, did it? It didn't fire the rockets on the launch escape system. Oh, great. I think I see what happened. They've changed the launch escape system required propellant to CTPB instead of HTPB. This is the launch escape assembly. No, no, okay, so here it says CTPB. It's probably because of the craft file. Okay, so it's just the craft file problem. Uh, CTPB, all right. Fine. Well, we're going up now. Come on, launch escape system. You can do it. Off it goes without any plumes, though. Keep going. Oh, their plumes are weird. Okay, well, all the plumes need fixing. I swear I've done that before, too. These need to be go further in, this needs to be smaller. But we know that we need high pressure tanks here, that's a problem. And that's probably going to be the same over here. Okay, so our issue, we have a lot of issues, but let's just start with this one. Now, if we just, just replace this with the, with the one we have here, will it work? Or will it still say no high pressure? Still says need high pressure tank. So... Yeah, this is just plain misconfigured. Oh, so maybe start with electric charge. Let me just try and empty the fuel out and see if getting the different mixture will help. Maybe it's the wrong fuel mixture. That That's tricky because the RCS uses a different fuel mixture. Now are you happy? Now it's happy. What did you add? You added more helium. No, it's mon one. Hmm. Okay. So, um, it needed MON1 instead of NTO. And it's a different ratio. And they changed the engine. They changed the engine, right? They changed the engine, but not the service module. Does the service module... Service module RCS still needs NTO. So, so now... It's Erazine Mon 1 for the service module engine and MH NTO for the RCS. So we went from having three different propellants to four. Well, and if you count helium, five. Now we have to make sure, because right now the RCS wouldn't fire. Uh, okay, so what we need to do is make sure that there's the right amount of RCS propellant. I'm going to say that we are going to just temporary fill, temporarily fill up this with whatever. Um, 
let's say 380. That's temporary. And then fill it up with the RCS stuff. And then fill the amount we reserved for the service propulsion system. That might not be the right amount of RCS, but what can we do? Okay, but unfortunately that means we probably have to do the same thing with the lander, and the lander is tucked into this mess. That still says Kerbal States on it. Gosh darn it, mod that was supposed to remove Kerbal States and say United States. Okay, so this engine... Erzine Mon 1. But if I actually pick it up from here... Is it gotta be Erzine Mon 1 and Helium? No, it's still just Erzine and Mon 1. Interesting. Okay, so we don't need to replace that. We do need to replace this and have it be Erzine. Oh no, the RCS is going to be bad. Okay. Hmm. So normally, normally the lunar module RCS would use the same propellant as the engine. One saving grace. Uh, but that's in the uh, ascent module. But here, it uses Erzine and NTO, whereas the lunar module engine has been reconfigured to use Erzine and Mon 1. Well, if they insist, I think we're going to have to just do a configuration fix for that. I don't think we want to try and have two different mixtures. So I'm going to adjust the tank for the lunar module descent and ascent engines. And then we're going to edit the mod finally. So after that, the mission did work, and I'll go over in a separate video how to actually run the mission. I've done other videos on that before, uh, but for now, the craft file that you will need to use and the fix that you'll need to use, especially for the lunar module, ascent module, uh, will be in the video description. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.